Hey, what's happening guys? It's Tyler from Valve News Network, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Deathmatch Classic. Here we go. Deathmatch Classic was released on June 1st, 2001, and is regarded as Valve's love letter to Quake. As many people know, Half-Life's Gold Source engine was based off of id's original Quake engine, and this was Valve's way of saying how much they loved Quake. Deathmatch Classic is not, however, a direct port of Quake's multiplayer. Quake's multiplayer was much faster and included a lot more maps than what Deathmatch Classic had offered, but Deathmatch Classic itself is a very fun game and tweaks Half-Life's physics to be able to match Quake's physics in more ways than one. For one, you're able to jump around and gain a lot of momentum, thus making bunny hopping much easier in this game than any other Gold Source engine game. Also, the speed and action of this game is substantially slower than anything you would find in Quake's multiplayer. That being said, this game is still incredibly fun to play. Deathmatch Classic gets a bad rap as it's just one of the games thrown into the Valve Complete pack. However, I feel that this game is quite underrated as the action that you experience in this game when actually playing with other people is incredible and really harkens back to a time that I miss in first person shooters. Now, I won't go as far to say that Twitch shooting is dead, but I really miss the period of time where the graphics were kind of like this and games were on the Gold Source engine. And that brings me up to the only problem that I really find with this game other than the lack of maps, and that is the community that is available, which is non-existent. While recording for this video, the only servers that I could find with decent ping were empty, and while logging on, I only found bots. Now, if I play on LAN with a bunch of friends, this game can get incredibly intense and incredibly fun, but I really wish that this game had at least a little bit bit of a community like Ricochet does. I mean, come on, you can pretty much play a game with at least one other person on Ricochet at any given time. I can never find another person playing this game, however. That being said, if you are lucky enough to find a server that has people on it that are real and not bots, this game is really freaking fun. I won't go as far to say it's a great game, but just the amount of sheer stupid action that you get from it is really, really awesome. And the way that this game feels is unique and isn't really just a Quake clone. It is in the style of Quake, but it does have its own feel. Most of weapons, maps, power-ups, and armor are very closely related to its Quake counterpart. However, you are given a crowbar as your melee weapon, which obviously is homage to the original Half-Life game, and all of the maps are somewhat tuned to be able to fit the Gold Source engine. There are really nice looking skyboxes and really nice looking lighting effects, which were not available at the time in the Quake engine. So it does take advantage of the Gold Source engine's graphical capabilities from the time. This game is incredibly cheap, and if you ever get a chance to be able to play it with other real people, I cannot recommend this more. For real. Try it out if you get the chance. But anyways, that was your review of Deathmatch Classic. Like always, I am Tyler McVicker. Please like, favorite, subscribe, share this video, join my Steam group, do all that stuff. I do this all the time. Valve is my life. Anyways, I'm Tyler McVicker. This is Valve News Network. Adios.